All right, guys, so I am scrubbing, okay? And I want y'all to see the difference. I just cleaned this. This one is dripping with my degreaser. And I want y'all to get close. See the difference between this and that? Grease and dirt and the, the grease is bringing it all up. And I even sprayed here because it started to yellow. And what I do is I let it drip down into this and then I come with my toothbrush and all this stuff I have here to wipe it up I've already did these cabinets here so far and the um up there these cabinets need to be done you guys can see um just like dirt and smudge and stuff like stuff that you can't see from a distance and up there definitely needs to be cleaned off um, so I'm doing that. I got my pot in here with the degreaser on it. Getting ready to scrub with my toothbrush all in here. Then run vinegar in here a couple times to clean it. Yeah, over here, see from a distance looks beautiful, right? But when I get up close, these bad boys are dirty. Dirty. So when people say people are cleaning, clean things, no ma'am. And this is because the degreaser that I put on has dripped down already. So they're wet, but they are dirty. So these are spaces that get neglected, even on my refrigerator. Look, got to clean that. A couple drips. Going to clean that today. Yeah. So this is before and all the dirt is dripping and getting ready. After I get from that corner, I'm going to come over here. Then I'm going to come to my this area and clean these as well people's feet and stuff from these chairs it's like little things that's dirty white it takes a lot to keep it clean see little stuff right there so yeah even on that side pan over there like yeah things get dirty especially when you cook a lot like myself look look neglected 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 look see i'm always wiping down but i'm always baking and cooking outside of the stove this part hold on y'all hold on one second this part neglected I'm gonna wipe that down really good with some degreaser yeah neglected even the top of this I never really take this out look at that neglected so yeah guys top of this is kind of oily so I'm gonna go in and clean that out I had putty the holes that the guy had messed up and I didn't like the way they was putty. It was like putty coming all out. So I'm going to fix those, re-putty them. That's the putty sitting up there that I pulled out. I got to pull that one out, sand it, re-putty them, and fix that. So, yeah, just tackling stuff that needs to be done. And even here, hold on. Stuff dripped. Stuff neglected. Neglected. So, yeah, that's what your girl is doing. And the next video will be me zooming in on everything. See, from a distance, it looks beautiful. But I have neglected to really clean these cabinets. I cook so much that it's just, ugh. So, yeah, I got to clean them. And these here, neglected, is dust on top of them. Y'all can't see it from a distance, right? Boom, 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 boom. Dusty, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can look clean from a camera. But those are neglected spaces that I will be cleaning. I'm going to be removing all of this and tackling the back, the black, <laughs> the backsplash. That's going to be getting tackled today as well. So, yeah, I don't really um, have clothes on, so that's why I'm not in the camera. <laughs> but uh, I might get a little footage in here of me doing maybe the, the backsplash or something. It'll be like a little mini tackling things around the house cleaning video. All right, so I shall see you in a little bit.
for those of you who don't get it, on the side of my refrigerator, we always put the deep fryer right here. So on the side of my refrigerator, there is like these orange dots of grease. See them? Yeah. See, so from a distance, you think someone cleaning something is clean. Those been neglected. I had so much stuff up there that I always neglected to go clean them. So yeah, those are actual stained on grease that's set on the side of the refrigerator. So something is being cleaned. So, this right here, it was under the Darvon refrigerator in the tray. But guess what? When I was younger, my stepdad used to be like, uh-uh, don't you throw out those toothbrushes. We ain't have all these fancy doodads and scrubbers and stuff. We got some in the kitchen and upstairs and some when I clean the washing machine. And y'all, dang, I still, y'all, I'm gonna have to show y'all. I got a video that is loaded on YouTube on how to complete, completely clean your washing machine really good, especially if your clothes are turning yellow and starting to get them dirty gray marks. That means your washing machine needs to be clean. But I got one downstairs, one on this floor, and then one upstairs in the bathroom. To a couple in the bathroom, one for around the toilet, one for around the sink and the tub in areas where we can't get around them glass doors and stuff. But yeah, this is old school. This has been around for years. This ain't nothing new, literally. And I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about as far as using these. So yeah, I neglected my refrigerator. It looks so good. So I'm gonna do a close up on it. All right, so she is clean. I got all up in here, y'all. Yeah, gotta get up in here because it gets dirty and that's where your water is coming from. And I have neglected that, so yeah. She is nice and clean from the top to the ball tone and on the side. Now we are shining, girl. Shining, 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 shining. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move to the next phase. So I'm hot, so that's why I got that fan on, so that's why I'm talking loud. So what I did was clean this, the grease set, wipe it down really good, and now what I'm getting ready to do, I put some filter water and some vinegar in here, and I'm going to let that run through the machine to clean it out in case there's anything in the inside of it that I can't get to that needs to come out. So that's all I'm getting ready to do. And it's going to pull all that in and clean it. So if you have one, that is the way I clean it. Quick. This is what came out the Keurig. Not too bad, not too shabby. I'm gonna do it two more times. So after that is done, I go in with my towel and I get all up in here and I clean that spigot. Cause that, I mean that um, puncture thingy, cause that goes into the coffee. So you wanna make sure you clean that as well when you're getting in there. This is embarrassing, but look at this door. You can't see it from a distance, but it is dusty. It is dirty, okay guys? So I'm getting ready to clean it. Disgusting. Look at that. Just nasty. 
Yeah, that's a nasty space in my house. Let's get it clean. <laughs> So here I'm just zooming in so you guys can see how dirty and how the dust settles on white things and at a distance you can't see them but up close you can see them. Next up are these drawers, and yes, they have nastiness on them. Y'all see it? I've let the degreaser sit, and it's kind to, um, you know, loosening it up and all that good stuff. So I'm getting ready to clean these. I don't think y'all get it. Let me see if I can zoom in some. See? They have dirtiness, stuff that you really have to pay attention to, and like above, see how, uh, like that stuff up there? So yeah, I'm getting ready to clean these bad boys really well. And then I'm gonna move over to the stove. Quick, for those of you new to my channel, that's not dirt, that's um, wood putty. That's why we had to change our faucet because it was leaking and it ruined all my um, cabinets underneath the sink. Um, so that's not dirt, it's putty. And we're going to wait till it get warmer because we have a project that we're gonna do to change up all of these lower cabinets. But for right now, we have to deal with the ugly putty. All right, let's get into it. Let's just get close to the knob. Could y'all see that knob? How it's a lot of dirt and grime. Can I even zoom in more around it? Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see it. It don't look as dirty, but trust me. Let me see if the other one. There's like dirt and grime around the actual knob. Dang it, it just seems like it's not getting it close enough for me, but anywho. Now for over here, I'm gonna just get the areas that are not putty because I do see some stains, but that gritty, thick stuff y'all see, putty. Other than that, I'm gonna go in, wipe off. I'm not gonna spray it because I don't want it to mess up whatever this putty is doing. So I'm just going to wipe off with the towel and the degreaser.
I just wanted to say something real quick. Um, I see people cleaning videos and they're excessive. I'm talking about over excessive with products and buying all this unnecessary stuff. Tip. You already say put some elbow into it. Elbow grease. It means that you need to scrub the heck out of it and put more power into it when you're scrubbing. It really doesn't matter sometimes when it comes to products. And just because you put more, that doesn't mean it's going to get it any cleaner. So you're wasting products for one. For two, um, when you use hot, hot water, it will dry on its own. And it will dry nice and clean. That is drying. I'm not touching it. You do not need to use a million paper towels to go back after yourself. I see people clean. They leave soap suds and then they take a paper towel and just dry it off. That is disgusting. You need to take the soap, which has accumulated the dirt in the, in the suds, and you need to wipe that down with hot water. Wipe it down more than once, and then come back and paper towel if you need to. But if you're doing it with hot water, you're not going to need to do that. And if you're putting real elbow grease in it, you don't need to do that. It's going to shine on its own because it's really clean. A lot of times when you take the paper towel and wipe the soap scum, it don't get real shiny. But if it does, it's because you put elbow grease into it. Put it in the, in the beginning so that way you don't have to worry about using all your product and all your paper towels. It's just, it irritates me. That's a pet peeve of mine. Like, that's not cleaning to me. It's just over excessive use. Like, I see people put like a, a, a quarter cup of dish soap in they thing to clean out they, uh, their, their um, sinks. And j just excessive, y'all. Save. Save your coins. You don't have to buy stuff every month if you're not using it like that. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All right, so microwave is done. Refrigerator is done. Door is done. Cabinets over here is done. Stove is done. Coffee pot is done. Um, next, we're going to go to under this island. I'm going to clean up these cabinets. Then, I think after I clean these cabinets, I'm going to move everything off the counter and clean the backsplash. We have, like, some greasy spots under the stove. Probably can't see them, but it's some greasy spots. You can see it's not shiny like over here in that area so some greasy spots on the stove and um yeah so that's what we're gonna do that's what i'm gonna do then it's gonna be washing dishes clearing off this dark island that i done put everything from everywhere on and look a hot mess look y'all yeah so yeah so let's get into what are we doing what did i just say oh let's get into these cabinets the lazy susan cabinet and these cabinets over here i'm going to clean these really well Put y'all back here so y'all can see everything. And then we're going to go on to the backsplash. And we are about done with tackling the neglected areas in here. Oh, and I'm going to do the trash can as well. So, let's get into these cabinets. So yeah, I'm getting ready to clean up everything, um, wash the dishes, clean out the sink, all that good stuff, because my last thing is cleaning the back of this, so I don't want nothing in my way, so I'm going to clean the dishes, put them up, put them away, and then I'm going to spray my degreaser across the back of my um, backsplash and get that clean, so just watch.
water. Hot water. So that's it, guys. So that is it. You do not need to waste your paper towels. Use hot water. It will clean it better. And that way you don't have to come back with no Windex and try to shine it. Now, if you want to take one half, you see what I use for my trash can. I only use one full paper towel. Half for the top, half for the actual um, trash can. And it's shining. It's elbow grease. It's elbow grease. It's elbow grease. I don't care what you put on it. Because some people use stuff and it don't work. Some people use stuff and they say it works. Well, maybe that person that is working for is using more elbow grease. Okay. Let me get this last little spot. Put all this stuff back on the stove. And I think I'm going to scrub the floor too. But I might do that tonight. I probably won't do that in this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you thumbs up this video. Alright, talk to you in a little bit. These, I don't know how, but they get dirty. Let me show you up close what I'm talking about. Y'all see that? They get dirty, so I have to wash these at least every other day, every two days. And I don't understand it. Something that make you go, hmm. So I just put them in here, and I use the brush, and I soap it up with some dish soap, clean them. I'm going to wipe that down, put this stuff back, do the grates, and move on. show y'all what I did. I'm proud of myself because oh, I got tired of that greasy looking nasty stuff up there. Yes. Yes. I feel like I want to cook a whole cook meal and invite everybody over. Y'all coming? See y'all in the end of this. Everything is clean. I keep those by the door. So when we step out or if we have to go out, I haven't been out since this whole thing occurred. Literally, I've been in this house every day for over two weeks now. So yeah. This is all the microwave, nice and shiny. Stove, nice and shiny to the bottom. And all of the backsplash, nice and shiny. The faucet, nice and shiny. Inside the sink was cleaned. The um, silicone racks were clean. The utensil holder was cleaned. This door was cleaned, nice and shined. 
This is the aftermath of the refrigerator being shined up, cleaning the spout, the spigot and all that, and this tray. Yes, guys, I hope this is inspiring you to get up and tackle some things in your house. Cabinet, nice and white looking. Not that yellow greasiness because like I told you, we used to put the deep fryer here. I cleaned the Keurig, showed you how to do that. Run the water and the vinegar through. Yes. So this is my little space here, nice and shiny. I was trying to show you I mean the hubs when we first met years ago. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, and Rizzy went, who are the little baby duo? <laughs> yeah, so all this nice and clean, all the cabinets nice and clean. I'm so proud of myself. Y'all have no clue I needed to do this. The island area nice and clean. I cleaned my light pendants. They had like a sticky dust on top of them. Disgusting from cooking and grease and all that. They were disgusting. But now they are nice and shiny and back to their mate look. And I cleaned out the window seal here. I cleaned off the island. And we always keep the disinfectant wipes and gloves there. I cleaned the island cabinets. Yes, I even, I didn't show y'all this, but I even wiped down my chairs. I gotta spin that chair back up. Wiped down the ladies and Susan. The stove is shining. Microwave, all these cabinets have been wiped. All of those canisters have been wiped down. Bread box been wiped down. What else? Oh, the trash can. The trash can has been wiped down and it is shining. I swept. I gotta get right here. I forgot this little spot, but oh well. That'll probably be in my next because I'm tired, y'all. And I gotta get this dough. But I'm tired, but this is what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait till y'all see what we do to this to change it up. So yeah, everything is nice and shiny. I can't wait till the backyard grass comes in. Ugh. But yep. Everything's nice and shiny. I hope you guys got some inspiration if I didn't say that from this video. I love you guys and thumbs up if you like videos like this. And I have other places I want to tackle. If y'all want to see that, let me know. All right. Later. But good. Look at this, guys. Later, Gators. Look at that. Ugh, let's fix it.